Detroit. I can't hear you, Maggie. Detroit. I can't hear you, Detroit! I grew up around music. It's my whole world. We got one more song for y'all tonight. If you told 12-year-old me that one day I'd be working for Grace Davis, she's an icon. This woman doesn't even know your last name. She does, sometimes. Girl, still give me goosebumps. Well, Grace, have you thought any more about the Vegas residency? Actually, I think it's time I record a new album. I mean, that's one plan. What am I supposed to say to her? I'm just a personal assistant, but I love to produce whoa, your music. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not sell yourself short. You studied composing, Maggie. There hasn't been a new Grace Davis record in a decade, and the fans want one. I'm a manager. Let me do my job, and you do yours, which is get her coffee, Kleenex, Kotex, and whatever else the hell we've been paying you to do for the last six months. I've been here for three years. You get paid? I thought you were an intern. My life is a joke! Ugh! It's really bleak out there for middle-aged singers. In the history of music, only five women over 40 have ever had a number one hit, and only one of them was black. I've been feeling... I know everyone is happy with me doing the same show every night. What if there's something more? Grace, you are the song. You should not be buried under all this flashy garbage. I didn't want to tell you or Jack, but I did a cut of your song. Hey, hey, I can hear y'all. Y'all know it's a damn microphone in there, right? All we got to do is play it safe and stack some money. I will decide what I do next. Is the food coming, sir? We've been over this. We are not a drive through Well, it should be. It could be. Oh my god, is that Grace Davis? No. 